Thank you for coming on back. And we are going to Marshalls and Ross again. So come along with me as we go check out what is in the beauty department. Shh. When I saw this, I was so excited. It's like, whoa, I've never seen a full steel up palette there. And amazingly enough, none of them were broken. As you can see, there wasn't a huge amount of other new palettes, some new Nicole Miller. I've never tried anything from her. Let me know if you have, if it's good or not. Stila Kitten Bliss Kit, $14.99. Yeah, and some, a few, not a huge amount, but a few more Clinique items. Eyeshadow Duo, and this is the first time I've seen Sephora brand. Yes, let me know if you have seen Sephora brand there before. As you can see, the shelves, some of the areas, they weren't real packed, but they, there was some newness. Again, some more Sephora. Look at those lashes. Don't they look so pretty? $7.99. They do usually do have quite a few lashes. That was the first time that I've seen any in cases like that, but now Milk Mascara, they have so much of that. And the Flawless Brows, let me know if you have tried that or if I go back and it's still there, let me know if you would like me to get that and try that. So many MAC lipsticks. Every week, I feel like that grows with the colors and the quantity. And still that ABH loose glitter that's been there for a while. The other boxes kind of looked a little tattered, I will say. Lots of lip balms. Max Studio, I didn't know they had makeup. I don't think I knew that. Hmm. Lipstick Queen, I'm not a huge fan. I know that, I think it was Frog Prints or something that changed colors. That got a lot of hype when I was watch first started watching YouTube, but I didn't really care for it. There was no price on that. I did end up giving it to one of the workers. Yeah, and look at an Omega Bronze. But it looked like it had maybe been, well, it definitely had been open. It was a little, I don't know, not used, but just... Mm. Look at the clearance section. It is getting pretty picked over. If you compare it to a few weeks ago, the Beauty Blender Foundation, they have really sold through that. And yeah, the, a lot of the other boxes, some of them were empty or they had makeup on them. So the clearance was a little picked over, but still a few, few goodies here and there. Yeah, and if you're spying that Marc Jacobs green box down below, unfortunately, the makeup was all out of there. It was only the little red bag, but a couple weeks ago, I did manage to find one that was new, had all the product, so that did come home with me, that one. A few new brushes, sets, Isaac Mizrahi. highlighting sponge. I don't think I have any that are specifically for highlighting. I might, but I don't think so. This 
areas usually pretty well stocked. The hair wraps and um, loafah, loofahs and stuff like that. Look at a cosmetic fridge. How cute and it's pink. Oh, I was so tempted, but $40. Yeah, and the personal care, again, this section is pretty usually stocked. They always seem to have tons of makeup wipes. I forgot to say at the end, that nail dryer did come end up coming home with me. Let me know I am going to record when I use it for the first time because I've never used anything like that. So that probably will be a video. Give me a thumbs up down below if you do want to see a first impression video on the nail dryer. Spray, I should say. Another Clinique. First time I've seen the body shop there. I'm pretty sure that's the first time. And look at that big old bucket of bath salts. Another area that usually seems pretty well stocked is the bath and body. And I did not know Olay had body wash. Am I the only one that didn't know that? And look how cute this banana body lotion. That just looks so cute. And I love things banana. Love the packaging on there. Always have a lot of soaps, it seems like there. And yeah, look at how stocked their hair products are this week. They definitely got some shipment in of that. here with some Sebastian. Does anyone else instantly think of this one? For some reason, I feel like I instantly think of back in the day, the JC Penney's hair salon. I think they might have had Sebastian. I'm not sure. I don't know. Is JC Penney still has a hair salon? The JC Penney by me closed, so I don't know. Or actually, did they all close? I don't know. <laughs> and here's the fragrance. Let me know if you would ever want me to like do more in detail and show you prices and stuff. Other fragrances, wasn't sure. Now let's head a few doors down and go to Ross. They seem like they have less than Marshalls as far as makeup, I've noticed. But both, sto both stores right now are having their clearance event. So they're definitely worth checking out every week. I know for Marshalls for sure, but every week they go lower and lower. A lot of Zoeva, Zoeva um, products there. Look at how cute and cool those nails are from Ardell. $5.99. Buxom a lip plumper for $6.99. And Quite a, a couple of Wonder Beauty items there. I've never tried their liquid eyeshadow. And this was a lip balm. Sephora, a couple of Sephora items there as well. Foundation for $3.99. If that would have been in my color, I would have for sure got that. But And a Sephora branded mascara for $3.99 as well. And Clinique, this is a good deal, $8.99. And if that would have been in my color, I would have brought that home with me, but it wasn't. They did have some kind of the beauty tools. This is their section of that type of products. And I am such a chicken. I have not tried microblading or micro. Yeah, I'm I'm too chicken to do that. Quite a few wipes there too, 
and their hair care. It's interesting. Marshalls has so much of this brand, and I feel like this was the only. They had a couple of these packages there at Ross. Join me back at home, and I will show you what I ended up okay, getting. Okay, so I am back home. And as you could see, our shelves, you know, our stores, um, they obviously get some new things, but they're not, they're not as stocked as they used to be like pre-2020. So I think that's just the way it's going to be. But I didn't find anything at Ross, but at Marshall's, the Stila. I really like Stila. If I could afford more of their stuff, I would definitely get more. Most of their items, except I think it's their lip liner and eyeliner. If I'm wrong, I'll... I'll leave it down below, but it's made in the U.S. And I just, I just, I like how it, like, Stila and, like, well, YSL for luxury is, oof, but I've never seen anything like that there. But look at how beautiful this looks. And when I saw those, I was so excited, but I thought a lot of times the palettes at my local store, they get busted or, and so I thought, please be okay, please be okay. And sure enough, look at how pretty. Mm. Oh, they just look so gorgeous. This has a retail, or it was retailing for $19.99. And I don't know about you, but I always thought, I wonder if stuff's expired, you know? Well, so far, I meant to keep including that in the videos and I forgot, but so far the things that I have purchased when I've looked them up, none of them have been expired. And this, I had to look twice. They do have a code on there and I'll leave some websites down below where you can type in the code. Not all brands are there, but this was produced in 2021. So yeah, I've been amazed. Like just because they're at Marshall's does not mean that they were expired. The other thing that I got was a clearance item. This is the Becca. Ignite Liquidified Liquid High or Light Highlighter in the color Strength. And I I haven't really tried anything from Becca. I had a couple samples here and there of things, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what the price was after this. Here is what the bottle looks like. Doesn't that look nice? And it's kind of like a pump style. So there you have it. That is what's new in the stores by me and what I brought home with me. So not too bad. Um, some, once in a while I get some clothing items. This time I didn't. If you'd like to see those included in the video, let me know and I can do that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will come back on Friday for another video. If you want to see what else have been in my Marshalls and Ross stores in previous weeks, I'll link those videos here. You can click on any of them. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!